Before I can start on the clouds, I first want to completely get rid of the previous sky. I'm using a mix of titanium white, king's blue light and a little Scheveningen blue light. As a medium, I use liquid light gel. If you want more information about the light gel, check out my painting clouds for beginners video. Gradually I add more king's blue and Scheveningen blue. To avoid a blue that is too bright and saturated, I add a little indigo to the mix in the last step. And at the end of the day, the beautiful sound of removing the masking tape. Today I'm going to start painting the clouds. I'm using a mixture of brilliant yellow and titanium white to define the shape of the dark cloud on the right. I've been using my rag as a tool more and more, in this case to make the edges of the clouds seem more lifelike. Not everything needs to be done with a brush. I must say though that it's a lot easier on panel than on canvas. The smoother the surface, the easier. Because this is a backlit situation, the cloud on the right not only has a bright edge, but also a dark shadow over the rest of its surface. I'm using a mix of indigo, umber green and titanium white. Adding a little umber creates a connection between the clouds and the green of the ocean. Today I'm going to work on further increasing the contrast. Step by step I will work towards the highlights. Because I'm aiming for soft and hazy clouds, I will do this in small steps to avoid suddenly having too much contrast. With my thinnest brush I paint the silver lining of the clouds in the distance. Their background is quite light already, so they're blending in naturally. There's an inconsistency in the composition that's getting ever harder to ignore. Every compositional direction, both in the sky and in the sea, points to the left, while the island, which you would expect to be the focal point, is on the right side of the painting. After removing the unfortunate island on the right, I paint the outline of its replacement on the left, using a double zero two brush and a mixture of indigo, umber green and titanium white. Yeah, that's better. The composition is much more balanced and the island is now the only focal point. I can't resist the temptation to highlight the crest of the waves with my old worn out fan brush. Don't throw away your ragged brushes too quickly, they can still be of great value. Now I'm wondering what would happen if I remove the light cloud in the middle. It could possibly emphasize the movement to the left, drawing the viewer's gaze to the island even more. Let's just try and see what happens. It 
it works. In this case, less is more. OK, finished. I must say I'm quite content with the result. This is what the painting looked like when I started a week ago. And this is what it looks like now. It just goes to show how helpful it can be to lose sight of a painting for a while. Time can be a miracle worker.